Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. I hope all of you are having a good day. Welcome to match day number 28 of the Russian Premier League. Zinyat St. Petersburg versus Arenbjörg. Uh, to even begin with, uh, I think that this match was very, very entertaining. Uh, it's the, and once again, we had another Zinyat way of finishing a football match. We have seen it before and we have seen it once more again. Uh, let me just uh, clear this out and just give you guys the final score right away and then I may get into all the spicy action that happened in this match. Um, so the final score was 2-2. Two -two. Uh, both teams, Zinez and Petersburg, uh, my club, uh, you know, they brought home one point and Arenbjörg and they had one point so we both dropped uh, two points each uh, so <laughs> it, ended up, it ended up in a draw um, but itself the match was really really entertaining um, <laughs> uh, like all match long all season long not all match long but all season long we have seen matches like this all season long for, for, for Zenit St. Petersburg. Um, for those who are new to this channel, uh, I don't know if you guys are Zenit fans or not. For those who are not Zenit fans, uh, you might you guys may not understand what, what I'm talking about, but uh, let, let me guys let me give you guys um, a simple explanation on what I mean by such a normal Zenit match. Um, but for for those who are Zinyet fans who are ultras who are diehard Zinyet fans uh, you guys already know uh, you, you guys probably want to may want to just forward this video just a little bit more uh, till I get to my actual reaction um, but for, for those who don't know all season long we had so many games where we were down 2-1 3-2 or whatever just down by one goal and then 19th minute comes by, still no goal, and we the fans, I even even myself, I I fell into that emotion so many times, um, where I was like, where, Zinyet have we have lost the match, you know, uh, I'm gonna take this loss, uh, I'm gonna make a reaction video, <laughs> I'm just gonna, you know, how do I, uh, you know, make make a positive video out of this very you know, difficult loss, and then. Uh, at the last minute before the whistle, I'm 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 not even talking about the last minute of you know of the 19th minute, but I'm talking about the the final minute, a few seconds before the additional time finishes. We have a late uh, last minute kick goal. Literally, it's the last kick of the game and we some way somehow score a goal and a lot of like 80% of these goals were made by none other than our our legendary a legend at this football club I mean in my eyes he's a legend at the club he saved us so many times but 80% of these goals are scored by none other than Ivan Sergeyev what a player he's just He's just so underrated. Of course, Malcolm. Of course, guys like uh, Gustavo, Mantuan, uh, Casiera, Claudinho. Uh, of course, these lads. They are very, very good. And you know, especially Malcolm. He scores every single game. Uh, he has you know a hat trick, four goals, five goals. He's an insane player. Um, you know, our best player on this squad. Um, but a lot of a lot of the fans sleep on Sergeyev. He's just—he's a phenomenal player. He just—he just at the right place at the right time. He scored goals when we needed, and that happened once again today. Uh, we were—we were down two-one, and then I think it, it was the ninety-fourth minute. So it was ninety-four minute, and I think there was five additional additional minutes and he scored in the 94th minute uh <laughs> i think it was like 94 
uh, 30 seconds. So it was literally there was literally 30 seconds remaining before the end of the with uh, the end of the game, and he scored to draw the match. And and I once again lost my man. I was like, what is going on? Once again, what is going on? Uh, <laughs> another <laughs> another masterclass by 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 Zinet where uh, it looks like when when the 19th minute is is up. We feel like Zinit is gonna lose, but some way somehow, uh, Sergeyev or <laughs> any other any other player. It could be Mustavoy, it could be Malcolm, even it could be Claudinho. They some way somehow find a way to score, and that's it's it's been a very entertaining season. And once again, uh, even in Edinburgh, uh, playing them and playing in their in their stadium, which I want to mention. Before all of that, I want—I just want to mention real quickly. It has nothing to do with the match itself, but uh, just this, talking about the stadium of Arinbjörk, uh Oh my days! They have a beautiful, beautiful stadium. I'm—I'm I'm a big fan of uh, Arinbjörk's stadium. Like, I think it's the first time that I saw their, their stadium fully and just like uh, itself. Uh, I know I'm not really educated on these Russian teams just just yet. I'm still new to the Russian Premier League and even Zinyet. You know, I—I'm a fan of Zinyet, but. Like I'm still am a newer fan. Uh, I'm I'm I just got recently into Russian football, so it's gonna take me a, a, you know a few uh, a lot of time to uh, discover about the Russian football and the stadiums and you know just the culture itself about Russian football. So please just just be patient with me a, a, a bit. Um, but oh my God, like I just saw that stadium. It was just just phenomenal. It was just a beautiful stadium, you know, and the pitch was also very, very beautiful. You know, it was like, it had a good color on it, you know, it just, it seemed like a nice and fresh stadium and just, it wasn't over the top, you know, it wasn't like over the top entertainment, like where, you know, like how, how in the US, like they just abuse everything. Um, but it was just a very beautiful stadium. It's just like one of those stadiums that just gives you the, the passion to play football you know, you know? uh so uh, i just have to say just a big shout out to Arienburg. Uh they have a beautiful stadium and i just really hope i, I think they're not in the relegation mode uh, they're not at the relegation spot at the moment so thank god for that i mean they are overall a very good football club i really like the way they played uh i must say their their first goal that was really soft. Our defense once again on the I think it was the no, it was right it was the right back position. We got caught lacking again and we gave away a very soft goal. Uh and once again, we do need work on our defense, you know. It was a very entertaining game, but uh we have to work on our defense. It's just it's not looking too good. Of course, we are champions of Russia. Of course, uh these last two games remaining that we're like uh since this was match day 28 and we have two more games left i know these games mean nothing but just play the game for 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 the love of it but we can't just play softly and you know, we have to finish the season strong and we have to stay professional um you know um and that first goal was just very very weak very very soft and our right back got caught lacking and he he didn't cover his man properly and and that first goal for me, it was really soft, and that was a big defensive error on our behalf. Uh, and uh, I must say, we're, we're gonna have to take that loss. You know, like like that goal, uh, we have to take that loss. And I must say, even though it was a draw, we still need to work on that defense. Um, so let me recap real quick. But another thing that I want to mention here is. Gustavo Mantuan. Oh my god. What a player. What a player. This lad amazes me every match. He is also another another very, very underrated player. I mean, of course, Ivan Sergeyev, he's a special player, but Mantuan in his behalf, uh, on his style of play, it's just he, he's just one of this another very, very entertaining player. He's just He's just so fun to see. He's just so class, you know. He just so electric, electric to see. He he's just, just like when you see him play, you just you always feel a certain way of happiness. And I must say, I love all of our lads. You know, it's not just about Mantuan. Uh, I love Sergeyev. I love Casiera. I love. Um, you know, Andre Mostovoy, Malcolm. I love all of my boys. You know, I love them all equally. Um, but. My days, what a match by, by Mantuan. He took over. I mean, that, that first goal was phenomenal. And 
and Gassiera just what a play you know puts up a beautiful pass uh, to Mantuan who finishes it perfectly beautifully and then even better celebration Mantuan all smiles just love to see our boys happy and that celebration by Mantuan was just so so fun to see um, so Gassiera connects with Mantuan on the first goal and then in the last minute of play Mantuan beautiful cross to Sergeyev who puts it in to to draw them uh, to uh, end this game in a draw I was I was losing it. I was like Mantuan. I was like MVP. I was cha I was I was chanting MVP because I I literally genuinely thought that um that, that the game was over and I was thinking I was already thinking I was like you know how am I going to talk about this loss it's, it's going to be a difficult one since you know both teams played well and we played you know well as well. Why why it is it's not a little weird there but yeah like we we didn't play good football you know we had a good possession we had a good passing play um, but we just couldn't score any goals and then it just seemed like the hope were was getting smaller and smaller and then when the 94 minute came by I was just like you know there's just I feel like we're gonna go towards a loss and then Mantuan out of nowhere he's like on the right pitch all the way like very very far he defends the, the ball you know he protects the ball and then he sees Sergeyev in the box you know he's he's ready and he's um you know safe meaning that you know he's ready to put you know that ball into the back of the net and Mantuan sees that and you know he protects the ball uh, and then puts the ball in, in a safe place where you know he can make that you know send that ball very easily to the to the box and Sergeyev just, just puts it away beautiful beautiful goal fantastic and that was a draw and <laughs> I I was just I was just losing it. I was like, oh my, oh my, Zenit football, Zenit football. Uh what a what a play. And I just once again fell in love with just the game itself. Just Zenit and I, I just felt like the the man of the moment basically, even though I, I never I, I can never be a professional footballer, but just seeing our boys happy just, just made me happy. That's how I feel about Zenit. That's I, every game I fall in love with Zinyat some way, somehow, win or losses. Now I'm gonna end this video off with a player debut that I wanna I wanna mention here, a, a youngster who you know has made his debut uh, today, and you know I wanna give him the, the the biggest of shoutouts. I love seeing our manager uh, putting on and giving chances to our youngsters and it's very important uh, and I hope that in the following two games we're gonna have more players uh, more youngsters coming in and, and getting a chance to play and having game time since you know of course we're, we're not competing anymore and we don't have anything to lose so why not just give those young players a chance and you know, see how it is in the first team with this with the senior team, and uh, so you know why not? And I just love seeing our youngsters, like like I said, you know, seeing them on the pitch and just you you see the potential, you know, you, you see the hungerness. Of course, they 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 don't they don't have the quality of a senior player of a first team player just yet. Uh, you know, they're they're not ready to play with the big boys just yet. Um, but you see the hungerness, you know, you see the potential, you see that okay, this player. I th I think I think he is gonna he is gonna have a good potential and we can see him uh, you know one day potentially we can have him as a superstar and this is gonna be a lad that will play regularly in our squad um, so that player today that made his debut is Alexei Baranovsky uh, 18 years old he's a center forward. Uh, and he came in in the 77th minute and he came in to replace Andrei Mustavoy and he showed so much promise and I, I just, you know, I don't think that he's just ready just yet for the for the first team but i'm just i just so happy to see him play and he's he looks promising i'm i'm not gonna lie here uh and he also he has a lot of years with us and i think in january he signed a, a contract extension uh that will you know have his contract extended till june 16 2026 so he has 
lots of years left, you know, to develop with us. And I'm not very worried about him, but Baranovsky, uh, it was an honor to see him play. Um, and I really hope that we can, you know, in the following season, or even in the, in the last two games remaining before the season ends, we can have more chance to see uh, we, we can have more chances to see Baranovsky play. Uh, he's 18 years old, you know. Uh, I think he just turned 18 like not long ago, and he's still very, very young. And you know, I'm just so happy to see him play uh, with the first team, and you know, have the chance to play with the big boys with 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 the senior squad. And uh, he seemed very happy. Uh, I saw that he that he had a good a, a big smile on his face, and uh, you know, he, he knew that he that he was just happy to be there. Uh, let alone football, of course, he had a pressure on his shoulders. You know, of course, he wanted to impress the our manager, um, but uh, I just wanted him to enjoy the moment. Just just be you know, have fun on the pitch. Just have fun not worry about anything else just just play football just have fun just take the moment in and i i'm pretty sure that his family was there and they had plenty of fun and just you know seeing his parents his his parents probably you know shed a few tears you know seeing their son on the on the senior level on the first team on the tv is such a beautiful moment for our lad so once again big shout out to alexi baranovsky uh good future for him very promising player it was just such a delight to see him play and once again want to wish him the absolute best and just want to you know want, want want to see more in the the first team squad and i hope that baranovsky and a lot of the other youngsters that we have in our program i hope they can also get uh many many chances to play in the first team squad get a few reps on the pitch uh you know and have as much game game time as we we can give them and you know make them play make them get a feel of, of how it is to play professional uh with the senior squad with the first team and uh that's what i want to say so i'll end this video with the slava slava zinyet i hope all of you have, have a good day please everybody take care and have a great night Bye bye